King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy I pop, King Carter here. I'm ready to give you guys my 2014 NBA playoffs predictions. Um, just a little quick disclaimer before I start. Go ahead and download my new app, Team IKC, for Android or iOS. You guys can search it in your app stores. Um, I will be putting out updates when I'll be doing live tweeting as games start. So uh, just expect that from me as well. But uh, let's hop into it, man. First off, I'm going to do the West bracket, seeing as though I'm an East Coast guy myself. So uh, let's break it down. One versus eight, Spurs versus the Mavericks. I'm going to have to sit up here and just say that the Spurs are going to sweep the Mavericks to move along. Um, as it goes for the Houston Rockets and the Portland Trail Blazers, the Portland Trail Blazers kind of had somewhat of a skid because they started off hot. But I believe that the Houston Rockets will move on to the next round, but there will not be a sweep. I got the Houston Rockets either 4 2 or 4 3. It's going to be a tight series between both of those guys. And, you know, it'll be, it'll be well seen. Now, uh, let's talk about the Thunder versus the Memphis Grizzlies. This right here is a grudge match. Like, the 2013 NBA playoffs, man, when these two went at it, it was crazy. So, I feel like now that they have a healthy Westbrook, and I hope, hopefully he stays healthy, I see the Memphis Grizzlies actually falling to the Thunder. I see the Thunder moving on 4-1. But, I will tell you, man, a banging offense against a gritty defense, it's always a, a tough call. But, if Memphis Grizzlies don't have the offense to keep up, they're not going to do very well. Now let's talk about the Clippers versus the Warriors. This right here is probably going to be the best series out of the whole entire West Western Conference playoffs. I'm talking about all the way down to the Western Conference Finals. Like the Clippers versus the Warriors, like that is an action-packed game in itself. And I'm going to have to give it to the Clippers. They're probably going to go ahead either I say I give them four or three because to tell you the truth, Golden State Warriors, if they're clicking, they are not going to give up without a fight. But I do have the Clippers moving on. Now, uh, let's move on to the second round. Spurs versus Rockets. Now, of course, everybody will say, well, the Rockets swept the Spurs in their series in the regular season. But that doesn't matter. That was the regular season. Um, and two of those wins came to the Spurs actually being shorthanded. So I just think that the Spurs will move on 4-2. to two. That's what I believe. I believe that the Spurs will move on 4-2. Now, let's talk about the Thunder versus the Clippers. Now, like I said, the Clippers is an action-packed team. But when it comes to the Thunder, man, I, I don't know. It's, it's a toss-up. But I will have to go with the Thunder because I am a Kevin Durant fan. But I will say that it will be a nitty-gritty round for them. But I have the Thunder moving on 4-2. to two. But I see two of those wins coming in close. I'm talking about a margin of like 1-5 to five points. That's how I see it. Now, uh, let's move on to the Thunder versus the Spurs. Now, I will have to say, even though the Spurs have the better record, they have, you know, more experience on their team. If we have a healthy Thunder team, the Thunder are going to win out. I see that series going to seven games and i wish it would go to seven games i don't want to be shorted on this series right here but i do have the thunder moving on to the nba finals i know that the spurs are the favorite but i just think that the new upcoming guys the younger team and now that westbrook and uh, kd have two playoffs under their belt i just feel like you know that they're gonna move on now uh let's break down the east because i know you guys want to hear my finals prediction one versus eight pacers versus hawks i believe that the hawks will give the pacers a run for their money i feel like they will go seven games with the atlanta hawks now i know a lot of people think well look at the record that that doesn't make any sense well to tell you the truth the pacers were kind of having like a bad skid and the atlanta hawks their their backcourt is just phenomenal like I, I believe that their backcourt will give them a run for their money and they will actually tire the Pacers out in the first round. Like I'm just let, I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys, but I do have the Pacers moving on though. Now Chicago Bulls versus the Wizards. I have the Chicago Bulls moving on. I would have to say 
4-2. I have them moving on 4-2. Now, the reason for this is the Wizards, they didn't have Nene when the Chicago Bulls were actually, you know, when they actually got those uh, edged wins on them 2-1 in the, in the season series. But, you know, they will battle it out. But I just feel like Chicago will move on, man. They have more heart. They have a little bit more experience on their side. Now, uh, the Miami Heat versus the Bobcats. The Miami Heat is undefeated against them with the big three. So, I have the Miami Heat sweeping them. There's nothing more to say about that. The Raptors versus the Nets. To tell you the truth, I have the Nets moving on. And the only reason I have them moving on, I have them going to seven games, 4-3. But the Nets are going to move on because of experience. The Raptors, don't get me wrong, they have a nice young team, action-packed. But when it comes down to playoff experience, they got Joe Johnson, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce. They got Darren Williams in the back. Like, hey, I'm, all I'm saying is, you know, the Nets moving on. Now, uh, let's talk about the Pacers versus the Bulls. Now, like I said, I know that the Pacers are the favorite. But the Bulls are going to beat them at their own game. And I just feel like Noah is way better than Hibbert. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I feel like Noah is way better than Hibbert. So I have this game going to seven series, I mean seven games, but I do not have a clear winner. I do predict that the Pacers will edge it out, but that's iffy. Like I'm, I'm on the fence with that. That's not like my set. You know, I want the Pacers to move on because I feel like the, the Chicago Bulls have something to prove without D Rose. Now let's talk about the Miami Heat versus the Brooklyn Nets. Miami is gonna move on. Um, I feel like if Dwayne Wade like steps up in this series and Chris Bosh does what he needs to do and takes off, you know, a little bit of heat from LeBron, I feel like the big three will outstand like the Nets, you know, throughout the series. I have the Miami Heat moving on four to two. All right, so let's move on to the Pacers versus Miami Heat the rematch yeah <laughs> nah man um I have the Miami Heat moving on the reason why I have them moving on is because the Pacers will actually be like dried out by the time their series actually start like the Miami Heat was so smart in getting the Bobcats to you know just take that first four game sweep and then you know take a nice little break and set up for the Nets but the Pacers will be battling it out for two rounds straight they're battling out versus the Hawks and going to battle it out against Chicago so by the time they get to Miami they're actually going to be a little tired and all of that so you know that's um my predictions for that now let's talk about the NBA finals for a moment the Miami Heat versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, I know a lot of people, Heat Nation, want the Miami Heat to three-peat. But I feel like Kevin Durant is not going to go down without a fight. And I feel like the team he has now, you know, and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, but he don't even have James Harden no more. Like, what's, 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 like, who else he got? I just feel like, you know, with him and, you know, a healthy Westbrook and, you know, their actual force in the paint, I think they might edge it out now. I see this series going to seven games because LeBron is no slouch. And he's taking the Cleveland Cavaliers to the final. So, I know for a fact that he'll put Miami on his back. But if Westbrook and Durant can actually work together, I feel like the Oklahoma City Thunder will win out and be the new NBA champions for 2014. So that right there is my prediction. Um, you guys can see the West Lottery teams and the East Lottery teams down at the bottom. I just feel like my Sixers should get the first five picks because we're ass. I'm just going to point that out. But, uh, you know, that's my predictions, man. I hope you guys like the video. Uh, please, you know, um, like the video if you like the video. Also, uh, don't forget, download that Team IKC app. I will be putting out updates as live tweeting will be happening. And uh, I hope you guys are checking out my NBA 2K15 wishlist web series. Um, the next video will be out later tonight. But uh, this is IKC signing out. Hope you guys have a nice day. Peace. Oh, by the way, uh, the beat in this video was uh, a remake of Bound 2 by Kanye West. Peace, y'all. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.